Plants have been a part of Chickasaw medicine for many, many years. It's a very ancient art and we still practice it today. My name is Rhonda Sellers and I'm the Ecological Resource Coordinator for the Cultural Center in Sulphur. Chickasaw medicine was not just about plants. It was also about the spiritual side of medicine. You always want to take an offering for the medicine that you collect. You want to give back. Tobacco is one of our most sacred plants and it was not only used for medicine, but it was also used for offerings. They would use tobacco and cedar to create a smoke that was thought to carry messages to the Creator. And so with all these ceremonies that they performed, there would always be tobacco and cedar burning. They didn't make any medicine without the Creator's help. River cane was really vital to the Chickasaw culture because it was used in so many different ways. Not only was it used for medicine because the roots had a powerful painkiller, but also we used it to make our flutes, our blow guns. We would weave it for baskets. We would use it for mats. So what we're trying to do at the Cultural Center is grow our own cane breaks and we've planted it in several places and hope someday to have enough cane for all of our Chickasaw citizens. Chickasaw medicine is so very important to our culture, to our tribe, and it is my hope that the young people will understand how important it is and will put forth the effort to learn from their elders all that they can and pass it down so that it doesn't get lost. <laughs>